Brought to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. Welcome back to Healthy Living. Over-the-counter drugs are medications that can be bought without a doctor's prescription. The ones you can get on the shelves of Kmart or your local mom and pop grocery or convenience stores. Here to tell us more about over-the-counter drugs and what you should get for your common colds, headaches, aches and pains is our favorite doctor, Express Care's Dr. Yet Kalam. Hi, Mindy. Thanks for coming in. I hope you had a great Mother's Day. Good, thank you very much. Uh, let's talk a little bit about OTCs as they're known. What makes a medicine over-the-counter um, versus a prescription, obviously? Well, in general, two things. The medicine's been around for a really long time, and um, so it's been known to have a really safe uh, profile, not too many side effects. And the second thing is that it's usually a lower dose than the prescription strength. So a simple example is something like ibuprofen. Uh, prescription strength might be up to 800 milligrams. Over-the-counter is just 200. So it's a weaker medicine. Okay. Now, are over-the-counter drugs just as effective as those that would be prescribed by doctors such as yourself? They can be, um, especially if you're aware of what, what is the optimal dose. Let's take a simple example like, for example, ranitidine or Zantac for stomach upset and, and heartburn. So if somebody's taking that, then the standard dose for prescription would be 150 milligrams twice a day, morning and night. And it's sold in a 75 milligram. So if you buy that and you're just taking the 75 twice a day, it might not work as well. You might think it's not strong enough, but you can double up and it'll be just as fine. Okay, what do you recommend for headaches? Let's start off because that's, I think that's one of the most sure. common things that sure. people... I think any, just with any medicine you can have a side effect or an allergy, but most people, I would say more than 90% people, uh, are not allergic to Tylenol or acetaminophen. And you have to learn those long medical names so you know what the generic is so you can mm -hmm. save money because the brand is always more expensive than the generic. But if you buy acetaminophen, and for an adult somewhere 500 milligrams up to 1,000 may be enough, and you don't want to take too much, but that should help. And then I've also you mentioned ibuprofen or Motrin, yeah. I think as it's commonly known. Um, what's the difference? Okay, Motrin is just a brand name, ibuprofen is a generic name. So back to the headaches for one sec, you could take your acetaminophen or Tylenol, you could take your Motrin or ibuprofen or naproxen, or an, another name for naproxen, naproxen is Aleve. And another thing that's available is something um, f with a little caffeine in it. So if you look for acetaminophen with caffeine for migraine headache, it will help you. Oh, that's a good one. Interesting, good to know. So what are your recommendations for the common cold and flu? You know, the common cold and flu is a viral illness. No medicine is going to cure it for you, but you will just help your symptoms so that you don't feel as bad as you're recovering, as your own body's getting better. So something that would be helpful is something for the fever. So as, again, acetaminophen or the ibuprofen, mm -hmm. and then um, maybe some vitamin C and some chicken soup. Uh, <laughs> the other cough, cold medicines and so on, you might look for a decongestant. Um, even uh, Benadryl is sometimes very helpful for just decongesting or um, some, something with uh, um, some uh, little tiny bit of cough syrup. But most of the time people are mixing too many medication in hopes that they'll get better. Um, they just need time mostly to get better. Okay. Um, what do you recommend for the common aches, pains, and sores that we all get? Okay. Yeah. So um, ice would be an ideal thing that you can get just when you first injure yourself and that doesn't involve any prescriptions at all. Um, but again, if you're not allergic to it, ibuprofen or um, the uh, naproxen, those two are very helpful to help reduce swelling or inflammation. So those are good if you've injured yourself. Okay. Now, are there some things that people should be concerned about when they're taking over-the-counter medications? Yeah. You know, with prescriptions, you kind of see the side, they, I think they always include that you know, these are your side effects and these are what you should look out for. Um, but with over-the-counter medicines, a lot of times we just, oh, read the directions, how many pills we got to pop and that's it. That's true. And sometimes people are popping a lot more than that. And um, so these drugs can have uh, big side effects. And um, for example, sometimes people can be taking um, some of that medicine and be getting stomach upset or heartburn, or they can be getting rashes even from taking something like ibuprofen or Motrin. So you do have to be aware that you're taking a medicine, even though it's not prescription, it's still a drug that can cause side effects. So um, I think if you're concerned, just go online and quickly check. You can go to a website called drugs.com and it, you can check out all the different side effects of medicines there and also dosages so you can be sure that you're not overdosing yourself. Okay. Um, can they be abused? I mean, we were just, you just mentioned that mm -hmm. sometimes, oh, 
I have a really bad headache and it says take two, maybe if I take four it'll help. Yeah, they sure can be um, abused and also um, just overused. So um, then people can get what's called, for example with headaches, people can get rebound headaches from just taking that much ibuprofen or even Tylenol over and over and over again. Then when you're not taking the medicine you get a rebound headache. So that's one possibility. Another is if you take too much um, ibuprofen for example or again naproxen those are anti-inflammatory medicines but they can hurt your kidneys so you can end up with really severe kidney even kidney failure if you overdose yourself on that so small amounts um, with great caution for short periods of time up to a week or two I'd say that's it okay so definitely uh, keep those tips in mind mm -hmm. when we go and, and purchase these um, thank you again for that You're helpful welcome. advice we will continue our discussion with Dr. Lam on over-the-counter medicine when healthy living returns stay with us <laughs>